And for, is it too late for him to turn back? Well, he can't really go back to Winterfell. Well, he can leave Catelyn yeah. until he there. takes his vows. But where yeah. would he go? Catelyn doesn't want him at Winterfell. Right. right. And which, that's, I think that's the thing. Which, honestly, though, I mean, by the by the time he gets back to Winterfell, Catelyn will be gone. That's, gonna, yeah. He doesn't know that, but... Right. Yeah, if he were to turn around and leave she now, she'd already, she would have already <laughs> left. Right, but I don't think he wants to risk that, so he No, I don't think so either. I wonder if he's worried about Catelyn's wrath without Ned being around to be like, shut your pie hole, bitch. Oh, she'd probably lock him in a dungeon. I wonder if he's more worried that he might fucking kill Catelyn. Warning, the following show will spoil the hell out of George R.R. Martin's A Song of Ice and Fire books and the TV show A Game of Thrones. Also, you're probably going to find a fuck ton of bad language. The explicit tag is there for a reason. Death and boobies, 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 death and boobies. Welcome back to the Ironwood Network Club. I am here as always with Lady Wyvern and Widow Wolfsbane. Ladies, how are you doing today? Doing good. How about you? All right. So we are here today to discuss Tyrion Chapter Two in A Game of Thrones. If you don't want to say you're good, that's fine. Fine. I am fine as well. All I right. think that just goes without saying. Well, I'm always know. good. He's good to go. You like that Taco Bell thing. Like that that Taco good. Bell rap, good to go. No. Taco Bell, good and to go. Taco Bell all the same time. I know. No mas Taco Bell. I said that to the dog in the hospital today. He, I was giving him some IV metronidazole, which makes them kind of nauseous. So he kind of started squinting his eyes. <laughs> well, listen. He's a chihuahua. He's a chihuahua, and I, like he had the squinty eyes, and he just looked terrible, and he was having diarrhea all day. So I just like looked at his face and said, "No mas Taco Bell." <laughs> that poor dog. Oh, poor puppy. Anyway, oh. we're not here to discuss chihuahuas. We're here to discuss Tyrion too. I wouldn't know the difference in a Game of Thrones. <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> wow. I think, I think <laughs> some serious shade at Tyrion. I think Tyrion's a little bit taller and only walks on two feet. Oh, wow. Anyway, anyway. A little bit taller. <laughs> that's horrible. That's funny, but Ooh, that's horrible. That was a fast one. I didn't even catch myself on that one. Oh, <laughs> I see that. My heart hurt for Tyrion. Oh, you'll get over it. But, oh. uh, Lady Wyvern, you've put together a short synopsis for us of Tyrion's chapter here. Oh, yes. I worked really hard on it. So why don't you go ahead and give us a quick rundown of what happens. All right. So basically, this chapter is just them working on getting up to the wall. Tyrion, his two, I want to say Bannermen, his two guards, Benjamin Stark, Jon Snow, and 20 horses and a cage of ravens is how it starts out. They split off at the fork right outside Winterfell as the rest of the party heads south towards King's Landing. Mm -hmm. And basically the first few chapters are just Tyrion describing how the land is changing. It's going from the smooth plains to rolling hills, and you can see the mountains in the back, and then they enter the wolf's, wolf's wood. Wolf's wood. Dark, yeah. deep, dark, black wolf's wood. Yes, and there's wolves howling at night. Strangely enough. Oh, wolves. you know. Scary. Wolves in the wolf's wood, all right. Scary shit right and there. And ghost, ghost doesn't seem bothered by it, but he doesn't call back either. Um, by the time they've hit the Ghost wolf's quiet. yes, <laughs> by the time they've hit the wolf's wood, they're three or four days in, and they've met up with another gentleman from the Night's Watch. His name is Yorin, and he has two other so their ways for the watch rapers from the fingers rapists. So their party is now eight people plus an assortment of animals, mm -hmm. not including the wolf. Yep. So they're a really odd group. Of people. Yeah, a Motley crew. Yeah. Definitely. I'm Nikki Six. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Don't make him spill his drink, please. I'm actually named after him, though. I know you are. So, there's that. I know you are. Oh, God. So, they're heading up north, and it's getting colder, and they're now getting into the mountains, and they're basically just describing how everyone else looks, and then they've gone a week at this point, and Tyrion's whining to himself about how cold he is and how sorry he is from writing all the time. Tyrion's complaining about the cold and everything and his thighs are sore from writing all the time and he has graciously accepted vengeance overcoat to keep him warm. 
just to try and spite Benjamin, hoping right. he's which, cold. Right, which he figured. Yep. He figured ben, He figures that Benjamin probably assumed he would graciously decline. Right, and he's like, "Oh no, I'll take that. Thanks. Thank you." Yeah. So now he's hoping Benjamin's suffering. Yeah. Which is really mean because Benjamin didn't. Yeah, nothing Benjamin's to him. like the nice Stark brother. What the fuck? I know. I know. But you know, Tyrion, he's a Lannister. Poor Benjamin. And then they keep going north, and there's less and less farms, and the roads getting rougher, and. Weather's getting that, shittier. We, yeah, weather's getting so much shittier. It's cold, it's dark, it's dreary, blah, blah, blah. Sounds like a lovely place. And we come to Who's the there? 18th <laughs> night of their journey where they are building a crooked little shelter so they can stay warm for the night and not freeze to death. Mm-hmm. And Tyrion, being the imp that he is, is completely incapable of helping build any kind of shelter or building a fire. So he takes his he takes his wine and he takes a book and he goes walking off into the woods and finds a great big oak tree to sit underneath to block the wind so he can I know like four women who that is like the ideal man wine. Did I do book. something wrong? No. No. He's covering his face. Okay. You're fine. Alright. Yeah. I thought like I was doing No. No. Okay. Yeah. Tyrion's like the ideal woman's man because he's got books and wine. Yes, but he doesn't help with any of the house chores. Yeah, so, well, I mean, not he's, really. he's all fucked up. He can fuck you real good, but he's all, like, his legs and shit don't work the right Books way. The start I'm sorry, the, only, the, one, the yeah. only woman that have fucked Tyrion, he has paid them to do it. Not so, all of them. so far. Not all of them. I'm sorry. The, someone his, else paid. His first someone fiance else paid. was a whore. Someone else his, paid her. Was she, though? She was paid to do it. Was she? Yes. Are you sure? Isn't that what Tywin's? I'm not going to... It's not in this chapter. I'm not talking about it right now. We made it first. King Robert. information later. Well, that's fine, but that's not in this chapter right now. No, it's not in this chapter. All right. We're ahead of ourselves. You are way ahead of ourselves right now. Always. Okay, so Tyrion sits down with his book. It's a book about dragons, which now makes me want to read it. And it goes on to explain how when he was younger, he had this huge obsession with dragons. He learned everything he could. When he went to King's Landing the first time for Cersei's wedding to King Robert, he took off and went to find the the skulls of the dragons that were once in the throne room, and he found himself in the cellar with them. Mm-hmm. And they they range from these great, huge black skulls to these itty, little bitty ones about the size of a dog. And he just spends hours staring at them. I never thought that dragons had um, teeth up. Of black diamond never would occur to me. Every picture, every thing I've ever seen of dragons, they have white teeth. But the black diamond, they have plenty of with all the fire breathing mm. and stuff. So that's really cool. Maybe, just a thought, maybe it's obsidian teeth. Which would be why they would call the obsidian the dragon, dragon glass. glass. So the mm. only thing that kills white walkers is dragon's teeth? Fire and dragon, fire and dragon's glass. The only two things that they really see. So feeling. then they and, have. Yeah, pl- oh, so then still. they have plenty of. Well, no, because I'm. It's way off topic. Yeah, it is. I was just. I was just thinking. Maybe. Maybe it's obsidian that they have for teeth. Yeah, it could be. That'd be interesting. Well, yeah. because they have to mine it out of dragon stone. Well, I'm not saying it's the only way to make obsidian. I'm just saying maybe dragons have obsidian for teeth. Well, he said black diamonds. Black diamonds aren't obsidian. Well, black diamonds are also black diamonds. You know what I mean. Yeah, I know. So, yeah, just a thought. So he's reading his book, and John sneaks up on him. I read so much; and they start, I'd say, jousting at each other, but it's all verbal. Mm-hmm. Verbal jousting. Yeah. yeah. Doing as dudes do. Oh yep. yeah, you know, sizing each other up. Basically, a little pissing contest. Yeah. And oh yeah. Tyrion goes to step towards John, and Ghost ends up getting in the way. Didn't hear him coming. Knocked Tyrion on his ass. Mm-hmm. Not on, well, on his face. Was it on his face his or ass, on his, his ass? His ass face. His ass face. Cause no, no, he, he got gets, a mouthful of dirt. Yeah, so he gets dirt in his mouth. So I, I thought it was on his face because he gets a mouthful of dirt. Or both. Or he probably be. just knocked him sideways and he landed on his face. Who knows? Yeah. But anyways, Tyrion lands down. Didn't see Ghost coming. Didn't hear Ghost coming. Never makes a noise. It's super stealth on Ghost. Yeah, I know, right? Like, even his running is quiet. And stealth that, to the max. Yep, and then they start talking about the Night's Watch and what it really what it really is. It's not all the glam and glory that John supposedly hoped it was. He gets all butthurt about it. 
Well, of course he gets all butthurt about it. He's a 14-year-old boy who's looking for glory. He's a 14-year-old boy who wants to be home playing Call of Duty. Yeah, pretty much. But now he's going up to live with rapers and... And he found out and, that playing Call of Duty in real time, in real life, is a lot worse than he thought. Yeah. Well, yeah, because they're uh, because the people he's playing against are adults. Yep. Just like in the video games. Mm-hmm. Fuck you guys! Oh my god! Go suck your mouth's dick! Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, that's just... <laughs> yeah. Shh, to be quiet, my mom's right behind me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, god. I don't miss that shit at all. So Tyrion's all butthurt the, the, the ghost. The wolf attacked him. But they get over it, and John helps him up. Mm-hmm. And they go to talk about... This is why I don't do these, because I'm horrible at these. You're, you're, you're going to have to cut this up horribly. So basically, they just talk about what shit the Night Watch really is, and then they decide they go back to camp for the night, and then they all drink together, and John's got first watch, so he has to stay up past everyone else and just make sure like no wolves come by. No white walkers. Try to kill them. No, just um, grumpkins and snarks. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yep. Indeed. Maybe go slap you or grumpkin. How does he handle snarks? You don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh. They end up drinking. All of them drink together, and then they all go to bed except for John. And Tyrion's the last to retire. And before he retires, he's he looks at John and realizes John is just realizing what he's gotten himself into. And then he goes to bed. It's a really small, slow chapter. Yeah, it's more just kind of to give us some exposition. Yeah, yeah, I think it's, I think it's to give us some... And it makes me sound like I have no idea what the fuck is behind the microphone. <laughs> it's because nothing really happened. Yeah, I know. you got the chapter that nothing happened. I told you to do it for John a couple of weeks ago, but no. Didn't want to do it for John. Didn't want to do John. No, I don't want to do John. I don't want to do it for John, so... Not for Kit, Kit Harrington, maybe. Didn't want to do it for Kit. For the for the raging hormones of Kit, whatever. But yeah, no. So this was just mostly it was a really big chapter for like imagery, really? understanding what yeah. the big vast expanse of Ned's territory is like. Yeah, there's really not much. Yeah, how yeah. much yeah. it takes to, it, to get from all... place to place. Yeah, that the, it, I think that that's one of the big things of this chapter is that it's kind of like a scale reference. There, the other guys are traveling south in the last chapter. I mean, they haven't gotten anywhere yet, but they've only been. Gone for a couple days. And they've gotten, yeah, but when we read with Ned and Robert, they're in the Barrowlands, which isn't yeah. that far. So. Yeah. Yeah, but this is basically just descriptions, and it goes over 18 days. Yep. And there's really not much going on. It's just a lot of walking and bullshitting and oh, yeah. drinking. Yep. And yep. sleeping. There's not much to it, except John finally realizes what the hell he's getting himself into, and yeah. Tyrion being the sarcastic ass that he is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's basically That's why we all love there Tyrion. is. That is why we love Tyrion. Yeah. Yep. At least me, anyway. Yeah. Like, I don't know how we're going to make this episode last an hour. Like, I think we yeah. just talked it out. I know. I like, um, so my first thing, I'm going to go over the foreshadowing. Can we do the foreshadowing? Let's do the foreshadowing. You want to do the foreshadowing that's in the middle of the chapter already? Yes. Okay. I'm really excited about it. Because I'm a horse people. Nay. <laughs> exactly. See, she knows. She gets me. She's calling out. Nay, nay. Now let me ask you a question. Yeah. Just curiosity wise. Mm-hmm. How do you know that in the books it is foreshadowing? Pretend you've never seen the show. I don't. I just think, well, if I were to think about it without having any knowledge of the show, the reason I would think that it would be foreshadowing is because of what Bran wanted to do with his life. And that was to be, like, a king's guard and to be a knight. And to be able to ride a horse. Yeah. And an actual horse, not a pony. Yeah. He was so happy. He was, he was happy oh. to be able to upgrade to a horse, and now he can't upgrade to a horse, because... And Maester thinks that's a stretch. A little bit of Armstrong there. Oh, please. Like, some of your theories aren't Armstrong. I just had a feeling that she... If she hadn't watched the show, she had no idea. If she hadn't watched shadowing. the show, that's probably true. But you know, there's other stuff in the show that we go through and we compare it to the show a lot. Right. Yeah. So we can't sit here and tell her she can't compare it to the show now. When we Especially since, other parts you know, show. I'm, I'm, I'm that show whore that's seen the show like a bajillion times before I saw that I didn't even know there was a book the first time. You know? How did you not know there was a book? I didn't know there was a book the first It says right on the show based on the series by George R.R. R. Martin. Yeah, never paid attention to that. I'm sorry. 
the only the only time I pay attention, like actually read or pay attention to credits, is when I'm looking for a specific actor, actress who played a certain character, and that's it. Gotcha. That's it. Otherwise, it's just jumble. It could be, it could be a fucking letters. foreign language for all I care. Kind of why I like watching the game, like things on Amazon Video on my Kindle. Yeah. Because it pulls up the IMDb information oh. on the side of the screen while you're watching it. Yeah. It's kind of cool. I can get into that. But yeah, no, so I, I do that. But yeah, so my favorite thing is that in this chapter, and we're going right to the middle, and then we'll go back to the beginning, because we're not going to do what the Mad Hatter says, where you start at the beginning when you get to the end stop. We're going straight to the middle here, and Tyrion's talking about how he's got this really cool saddle that is of his own design for his little fucked up cripply legs that he has because he's a dwarf. And can't ride a horse properly. Yeah, and he can't ride a horse properly. Like if he if he were to have to ride a mount, it would be a pony to be able to get his legs far enough down to seat properly. Yeah. So he wouldn't fall off on his own. So he's probably got like some straps and stuff on there to keep his legs in place and oh, yeah. that because sort of thing. Th- neither of them sit straight and they're both at different angles. So yes. he's gotta have straps to keep his legs. Yep, keep them there in place. Keep them from on. like if a, if the horse moves or something like that, he doesn't just like because I mean on a regular horse, a guy with, like, short right, little legs. Left, right, Well, yeah, like, yeah, going, like, with, like, the left-right motion, he would probably just slide off one side or the other. So it's just like that cartoon where they're bopping to the left and bopping to the right. I don't know what you're talking about. You've never It's like those old Disney cartoons. Oh, no. The old Mickey Mouse cartoons. No, I fucking hate Steamhouse Willie. Okay. I fucking hate Mickey Mouse, and I hate Steamhouse Willie. Oh, you've upset the maester. I did. I like Mickey Mouse Christmas, where they have the, like... Two little chipmunks are there, and they're having the fucking war. Chip and Dale. Chip and Dale. Chip and having, Dale. Having the war with the Christmas ornaments and shit. It's oh, good. yeah. That's not so. That's not so bad. Yeah, but yeah, I just, no, this is like old hand drawn drawings. Well, so is this. Like black and white. Well, it's not black and white. Yeah. Yeah. No, these you are black and white. You can hand draw in color. I'm well aware. Okay. Snow just, White's in color. <laughs> you can hand draw in color. Just say if you can. <laughs> oh God. Uh, Black but yeah. white doesn't necessarily mean old. But yeah, you're lucky you're on the other side of the table. Mm-hmm. So anyway, I think that this is foreshadowing that Bran's going to wake up because he wanted to be a Kingsguard and he wanted to do knight stuff. Because you, I th- do you have to be a knight to be in the Kingsguard? Like, do you have to be knighted? Yes. To be you're knighted to join. You are knighted. Okay, so yeah, so he wanted to be a knight, and you kind of have to be able to ride a horse and do some cool knight stuff. And we already knew that he, if he did wake up, he had no use of his legs. Yeah, because they fucking shattered, and his back's yeah. broken. So even if he, even if his legs didn't break, his back is still broken, and he would not be able to control his legs anyway. Like, they right. could be whole and working and, like, go the right angles and stuff, but he still would have a broken back and unable to use anything from whatever area down. Yeah, he probably fell in either a sitting position or landed right on his coccyx when he landed flat. Yep, and then his legs just kind of took the impact and yeah. shattered upward. So, but I think that that's, I like that. I think that that's what that is. I'm going with that. So happy about it. I am. I'm really happy about it. I like it because it's horse people stuff. Saddles are really important. I love, saddle work is really important and saddles are great and I ride an English saddle and I think western saddles are full of shit. I love you. I don't know what any of that means. I do know that... I know what, what some the, of it means. <laughs> what this is, is she saw the TV show and that Tyrion made Bran a special saddle in the or TV he, show. He made, you know, he made she, blueprints. And so she's now, she's now assuming yeah. that the same is going to happen in the books. I hope so. I just hope so. That's, that's what I'm saddle. thinking. I hope it's going that. But yeah, he hands over so blueprints so it's, 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 more, it's more for hoping than foreshadowing. Yeah. Well, don't fucking, don't fucking hurt my hoping right now. <laughs> but yeah. We'll see. I hope. Makes my heart happy. I mean, maybe the Starks will be mad at the Lannisters well before that, and there won't be any kind of friendliness between them. Maybe they'll behead Tyrion as soon as he comes back and says hi to Bran. That's a charming thought. That would make for a horrible book series. I'm just saying. Well, I mean, it because sounds like exactly something George R. R. Martin would do. I don't know, because Tyr- Tyrion's a very cunning character, and to lose someone with that kind of brains this early on seems very... And that's stupid thing. ...moot, considering Tyrion's the only one who can inherit anything from the Lannister family at this point. But he's, does, his dad doesn't want him to because he's a bastard. But, he's he, a needs to, but he, he needs to keep him around because Jaime can inherit anything at yeah. this point. Tyrion off that fast is almost... And that shittily is almost like when the show killed off Littlefinger 
as shittily and stupidly as yeah. they did. In you the might as well ca- oh, kill Jon Snow and have the book series be over. Yeah, I still haven't seen it yet. You're not missing much. I no, I think I think it was real. I think it was just horribly done the way Littlefinger died in the show. Yeah. Like yeah. it was, it was in Littlefinger. I'm gonna be finding out no. soon because I'm gonna be getting HBO subscription to watch it myself. So there you go. I can just binge watch whenever I want. I have DVDs. All right, thank you, Gabe. No, you're back. back. We have one, two, and three. Yeah, that's it. Give them back to her. Yeah. Okay, so you we went through your foreshadowing. Yep. Okay, let's go back to the start of the chapter. <laughs> There's nothing at the start of the chapter to talk about. It's just how it's just the we can talk about the landscape. Of, talk about the landscape. Well, it's I mean it's just shitty northern cold. Nothing gets colder. Openness. It gets steeper. Easter, I always gets... favorite words in there. Well, favorite word in this book anyway. Yeah. Fortnite. Fortnite. Yep. Yeah, I really hate how the chapter goes back and forth, but it goes fortnight, three days, ten days, eighteen. You know, back to the first day. It's really annoying. Yeah. It's very there's there's a large time lapse and not much going on in this chapter. Yeah, the first interesting thing that happens is that they they come across another Night's Watch member, Yorin, Yorin with Yorin, the two rapists, with the two rapists that he's bringing north to Just the wall before the woods. And yeah, I'm surprised they don't like castrate them and stuff. Like depending on like that's what... an option. They chose the Night's Watch. No, I it know was castration like, or the Night's Watch. But I feel Watch. like that's something that I feel like that they that the Night's Watch would still kind of be like, yeah, you're still trying to rape people, and we can't have our members going. But around they're not raping, raping men, so they're fine. How do you know they weren't raping men? They didn't say that. I'm sure if they caught men one get of the raped too, I, no. sure if Equality. they actually technically speaking, more men are raped in this country than women. Exactly. I'm sure Thank if you. there was an issue of men being raped at the wall, they'd handle it. Would they handle it? Would they fondle it in the real well? Oh, <laughs> the balls of the shaft? <laughs> Next oh, question. Uh, <laughs> Next question. This isn't an interrogation. <laughs> God, I'm not sure you a hostile witness, Your Honor. <laughs> <laughs> if you think I'm hostile, wait until you see me tonight. <laughs> I rest my case. <laughs> my cousin Vinny. <laughs> uh. Uh, so after Yorin shows up, Tyrion starts to see that uh, John is not really liking what he's actually seeing about the Night's Watch. Everyone's already shady and really yeah. fucking sketchy looking. He's and like, they're really old and they're full of lice and yeah, they're Tyrion, just yeah. really horrible people and really old people. Yeah. So Tyrion, far. Tyrion starts to feel sorry for John. He had chosen a hard life, or perhaps he should say that a hard life had been chosen for him. It's Catelyn Tully. Yeah, because Catelyn. We should call her CCT. She just call her Catelyn fucking bitch. How many times do you have to try? Vincent. Give her a different nickname. Yeah, we, we, don't, we, we do not need to give everybody in the fucking world nicknames. We don't we need do. to call Robert no, we don't. King Rob. We don't need to fucking call the wild folk or the free folk the wild people. I mean, wild, we, we, we can just call them. them. We can just call them what they're called in the book. Because no, we don't need to confuse our no. listeners. You can do whatever you That's want off, off, off the air. That's too simple. Yeah, so then Bob is riding north with Carl and Vincent. Nerd. Yeah, and it's then they and, and then they come yeah, across they come across Steve and a couple of rapists named who knows what. Listen, we've got Dick off. <laughs> Why can't we have Catelyn Clint Tully? We don't have Dick off yet. We don't have. I know, but I'm saying we have. But we have Dick off. We that's we still refer to him as Dick off. Well, that's just because I mean that's because that's that's just funny. Him. Yeah, and Catelyn's a tough. And cunt. he and he gets other names in the book anyway. So he does. So Catelyn, he just be Catelyn. We all know what she is. You can just That's call true. her what she is. Is she the cunt face? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with you. You know, I really don't. Uh. But yeah, so, yeah, John is uh, kind of having some serious reservations from, from what Tyrion can see mm-hmm. about the Night's Watch and what it's actually like. And that's kind of what we get for... I think that's why he gets so upset about it. And I think that that's kind of like the whole purpose of this chapter. Yeah. Is for John to kind of see what he's really getting himself into. And is it too late for him to turn back? Well, he can't really go back to Winterfell. Well, he can leave yeah. until he there. takes his vows. But where yeah. would he go? Catelyn doesn't want him at right. Winterfell. Right, right. And which, that's, I think that's the which thing. Which, honestly, though, I mean, by the, by the time he gets back to Winterfell, Catelyn will be gone. 
That's, like, yeah. He doesn't know that, but... Right. Yeah, if he were to turn around and leave she now, she'd already, she would have already left. <laughs> right, but I don't think he wants to risk that, so he's No, I don't think so either. I wonder if he's worried about Catelyn's wrath without Ned being around to be like, shut your pie hole, bitch. Oh, she'd probably lock I'm, him in a dungeon. I wonder if he's more worried that he might fucking kill Catelyn. I mean, I would hope he would. <laughs> I would literally hope he would. I don't think that thought ever crossed his mind. Don't look at me like that. We're both looking at her like that. I can guarantee <laughs> you that that thought at least crossed his mind. Not in the books, it didn't. Not, 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 not from limited, his perspective. Not in the limited POVs of his thoughts that we get. Yeah. But we only get like a few hours of John's thoughts throughout the first book. I mean, yeah. I mean, he's got 24 hours in every day. We got 18 days right here where we're only getting Tyrion's point of view. Right. Who knows what John's actually thinking? Right. He could definitely have been thought, yeah, she just slit Catelyn's throat. That'd be nice, especially since throwing out the window. I mean, we get we get a reference of her, of her in Arya's chapter two, and he could be sitting there thinking, like, yeah, your cunt mother. Mm-hmm. Oh, he does think she's a horrible mother. That's yeah, because he treats she treats him like shit, and and has the other kids turn on him. Well, some of the other kids turn on him. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, now my favorite part when uh, Tyrion is telling us about how he took Benjen's uh, coat when it was offered was, Lannisters never declined, graciously or otherwise, but Lannisters took what was offered. Absolutely. Which is why they become so fucking... Powerful. Bestious. Bestious? I don't know. That's how they've gotten to where they are. Yeah, I was trying to think of like an infestation kind of thing, Mm. but it wasn't, that didn't come out how I thought it would. Yeah. (laughs) It wasn't. Only he can make up words. Only he can make up words because he's the English major. That's right. I can make up words. You're not. I make up words all the time. I'm not saying that they work. I'm just saying that I can make them up all the time. But yeah, I like that. I like that about the Lannisters. Yes. And we get that little piece of information, which I think is kind of cool. Uh, and then we get. Tyrion talking with John. Well, actually, first we get Tyrion reading his book, and I like I like the we get a we get a, a good look into Tyrion here. I think with his whole fascination fascination with dragons mm-hmm. and everything like that, and how he was like a kid in a candy store when he got to first see the dragons. Yeah, at this point, Tyrion's my spirit King's animal. Landing. Tyrion, your spirit animal. In this part of the <laughs> little, chapter, a yes, imp, yes, a little imp with. He's my, he's my, um, what's it called? A bitmoji? Not a bitmoji. Emoji? No, that's... No, those little... Tamagotchi? No. No. Those little things on Facebook that were a fad for, like, two weeks where you could create your little... Yeah, they were bitmojis. Bitmoji? Yeah. Yeah. Stupid little... It's a stupid little cartoon you make of yourself on Facebook and you used to, like, make... Yeah, it's it's a bitmoji. It's stupid. Yeah. I never got, I never got one of those. Anyway. So you're so a little the, cartoon person, a fucked up little imp guy that likes to whore himself out? Yeah, okay. absolutely. You called me easy, didn't you? I did. All right. You did. We, yeah, so we get we get his description of uh, dragons. the dragons and how huge um, some uh, of these was, What was the big one's name there? Valerian. Yeah. The, the Black Dread. I yes. would love to have one of these to hang on my living room wall. Not the really, really big ones, obviously. Yeah, the, the big ones, would, like as big pro- as your living room. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, much. <laughs> prob- it's probably big enough to like, fit the whole it. house in it. Yeah, so you can probably <laughs> live in it. <laughs> yeah. There's some yeah. curtains up around the teeth. Well, yeah, if the, if the horse can like walk da- walk through the jaws and down down its back. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah. yeah, and then Tyrion goes over. I just want one of the smaller ones to put on my living room wall. And then Tyrion goes over how one of his ancestors had fought against dragons. Mm-hmm. During, and lost. Well, yeah. During uh, what was called the Field of Fire. Yep. Well, yeah, King because Lauren they... Of the Rock. Yep. They all took off running. Yeah, they did. Well, yeah, because well, he and, uh, there was a, it was the first and only time that, that all three of the Targaryen's <laughs> dragons were used in one battle at yep. the same time. And they killed over, what, 400? Yes. Yeah, several hundred men out of, like, tens of thousands, but that was enough. Yeah. Just to the send the rest of them, them. Yeah. send the rest of them running Basically for the hills. Crush the military army. Yeah. Yep. yep. So that was pretty cool. Yep. And then, and then John shows up. That's right. It was it oh, was the three awesome. dragons plus five thousand men versus ten thousand plus men. Yeah. And it was a. And the three dragons were enough to be yeah. like, nope, yeah. fuck this. Yep. Yeah, fuck that shit. That was kind of what they tried to recreate there. 
I think the last that was season on the show. Yeah, yeah. I, say, I think what part of it was too, especially like if you, even if you got ten thousand people, if a, if a dragon, let alone three dragons, could take out that many men in one fucking swoop in like what, yeah. like ten seconds. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's done. Yeah, yeah. I that loot train scene. Yeah, in yeah. Season seven of the show. Yeah, yeah. No one's gonna fuck with that shit. Yeah, no. Nope. I see a dragon. I'm running the other way. I mean, I'm not. No, I'm, I'm, I'm way, gonna but... hold up a deadly. I'm gonna be like, "Come here, kitty, kitty, kitty." Yeah, pretty much. Come here, kitty, and then kitty. come over and swallow your arm on and bite the leg. That's so cool. <laughs> yeah, waiting up. Do it with a flesh wound. <laughs> your arm is gone. It's My not. You're bleeding your arms off. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not. How about you? <laughs> uh, what are you gonna do? Bleed on me? <laughs> Yeah, here, have some. Yeah. <laughs> Flat my limit. The year 4,000 men had burned that day. So, oh, okay. yeah, so they lost. So 4,000 men out of 10,000. Yeah. Out of... Well, I think it was out of... 10, it was 10,000 knights. Yeah. Oh, so then and then, got, even, like, more, and then even more... Of the lower the, the soldiers lower classes. and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Right, the men at arms. Yep. Yeah, so... So a, lot, a big army that was just crushed by three dragons, yep. essentially. Which is kind of cool. Yeah. And then we Love get that. yeah, and then we get to a saddle. The saddle of magic. And then we come to John showing up where Tyrion is reading, and we get a great line from Tyrion. Mm-hmm. I think is fantastic. They even used it in the show, didn't they? Is it the same line? I don't know what line you're thinking. Of. Yeah, I don't know. The line I like is. He had the stark face, if not the name. Oh, no, Long, like solemn, guarded. A face that gave away nothing. Whoever his mother had been, she had left a little of herself in her son. So we get yeah. another character telling us how much Jon Snow looks exactly like Ned Stark. Yeah, um, you, and your, you and your little thing. One more time. There. One more time. One more time for those one, in the back. One more time. Yeah, those in the back aren't listening right now. No, 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 no. We learned that Jon <laughs> yeah, okay. Snow looks exactly... Looks so much like Ned Stark <laughs> that Tyrion assumes that his mother left little of herself in him. Yeah, right. I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't hear anything. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now, the sentence I was thinking was his big rant chapter to John says, And I have my mind, and a mind needs books as a sword needs a whetstone. Yes. My brother has his sword, King Robert has his war hammer, and I have my mind. Mine needs a book as a sword, needs a whetstone, if it is to keep its edge. Exactly. I don't think that's in the show. It is in the show. Not in the first couple of seasons like this is. That scene is in the show. I don't think it is. In that I just watched all three of the first season last week. All three of the first season. Oh, all three of the first, the first three seasons. Oh, okay. All three. Of the I'm seasons. pretty sure it was in the show, but we can not saying. Oh, no, I'm not saying it's not in the show. I'm just saying it's not in the beginning. That's right. Doesn't matter. Like how this is. It's the show. Does it matter if it's not? If it is or not? It's not in the book. It's it, a book no, club. It is, it is it's a book. book club. That's what you know, no, you're saying because it's in the whatever. Whatever. Because <laughs> this is a book club and this isn't about the show. Right. Yeah, yeah. We make comparisons the, to the show all the time. I I agree, and that's fine, but we don't need to have a twenty minute argument about whether or not it's in the show. John asked Tyrion if this is really what the Night's Watch is gonna be like. And Tyrion's like <laughs> oh, You course. have no idea. Yeah, kid. You'd be fucked. He's like, yeah, you fucked up, dude. You fucked up big. Yeah, I really shouldn't have chosen this life. It's probably not for you. Except he didn't really choose this life. Well, I mean, he, he did. He wanted to be part of the, the Night's Watch even Right, though... but Tyrion points out that this is not technically the life he chose because he didn't choose to be a bastard. Yeah, he didn't choose to be a bastard. And, I mean, he wanted to be part of the Night's Watch, but he didn't want to be a part of what the Night's Watch really is. He wanted to be a part of what it was in its glory days. He wants days. what? Benjen. Right. When songs people, yeah, sing about the Night's Watch. Yeah, Except when people chose to go there all the time. It's old and corroded and there's not enough people. And, yeah. yeah. Yep. And it's cold and frozen. And, and it's not as... Yeah. I'll eat his turnips. It's not as glorious as he used to be. Sir Alistair Thorne. Sir Alistair. Sir Alistair. Is that the guy that kills him in the end? He's one of them. Okay. Fucking Ollie. Is Ollie in the book? No. No. Okay, cool. Good. Little fucker. (laughs) (laughs) Little fucking shit face. Uh, so yeah, John still still says, Oh, the Night's Watch is is a noble calling, and Tyrion's like 
look around you, really? Are you, he's like, are you fucking kidding sure me? It sure used to be, not anymore. He's like, I know you're 14, but come the fuck on, dude. <laughs> yeah, like... You grow up real like, quick. Yeah, you're gonna be around rapists, and you're gonna be guarding us from grumpkins and snarks. But the good part is, there are no grumpkins or snarks, so you'll probably be safe. Yeah. Yep. If only he knew. Yeah, if only Tyrion really knew what was coming. You it's know, for someone who reads so much, you think he would know snacks. that there's, you know, potentially actually threats of why the Night's Watch used to actually be a real big thing. Actually, I don't think nobody even really knows. I mean... It's just one of those things they've done for thousands and thousands of years. I think they know. They use I mean, the others as a curse word. I don't even think... It's a myth the they night, teach children. The Night's supposedly. Watch really doesn't even remember what it's supposed to do, because the Night's Watch these days is all about fighting the uh, wild blues. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's the, the it's the reg- it's the normal free folk that live on the other side, right? Yeah, that's yeah. who yeah. they're fighting. They which, have no idea what, why they're even there. Yeah, that's not their purpose. The Night's Watch was not founded eight thousand years ago with a magical wall to fight against wildlings. No. Yeah, because they're idiots. Yeah. But if anyone just fucking read a goddamn book, there's libraries. Maybe everywhere. they would know. That's what I'm saying. Well, if most they, of the people in the Night's Watch can't even read. I'm mm-hmm. so saying if they fucking well have right, someone so, else read for them. Then, there's How are be a you couple. saying they need to read if they can't read? Because I'm sure there's a couple up there that can read. John can read, yeah. and he's going up and there. And John's going to spend his time teaching them their ABCs. Yeah, he's going to fucking sit there and. Spend he's got more time. important shit to no. you know. He got toilets to clean. No, he doesn't. He's got fucking wildlings on the other side of a 700 foot wall. And he's well, too green to fight that fight. And here's the problem. Later on, Sam starts looking through the books. That's the, what I'm saying. Yeah, but like the farthest, the say. farthest back he can find is like. 600, like the 600th Lord Commander. So, you're, I mean, you're talking... So everything before the 600th is kind of like, like pre-written history? As far as he and knows, as far papers, as he can find, the papers like, there's nothing deteriorated. from there's nothing years there. ago. Oh. Yeah. Because that's Anything well, that was that's, written that long ago is just know. dust that's what I'm now. Which is why it's important that some people remember. Yeah, which is why I want to know. Because I know that everything that Sam knows Tugging in the show... Remember. The dragon remembers, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Every single thing that Sam knows in the show comes from, I read it in a book. And the forest remembers. The of course, forest remembers. Remembers. House Royce, we remember. House what Royce. do we remember, though? I assume it's the secrets of how to fight the Long Night. I hope. I guess we'll find out in one yeah. of the next two new books that are coming. I out. hope. We need, we need to find out House Dane's words. I'm sure you can Google it. It doesn't exist. Really? Nobody knows House Dane's words yet. Oh. George, apparently. That's kind of rude of him. Yeah. Well, it's because I have a feeling. I have a feeling that House Dane's words are a line from the Night's Watch vows. Why? Oh. Why? Because I have a feeling that Danes were tied to the fight for the original Dawn and the Why? creation of the Night's Watch. Let's not get into that right now. Because they had their sword is named Dawn, and the battle was called the Battle for the Dawn. So it was a fight over a sword? No, but Dawn would have been a weapon used in it. Dawn is a magical, a mystical sword. Is that the sword that is that the I was gonna say is that the sword that's gone missing? No, that was Valyrian steel. No, the sword has gone missing. You mean there's a Valyrian sword that's gone missing? There's a bunch of them. Well, Sam stole his dad's. No, it was one that went missing hundreds of years ago, and I think Ice replaced it or something. Oh, the original Ice. Yeah, it wasn't Valyrian steel. It was dragon steel because it's probably older than Valyrian steel. Okay, actually is okay. Dragon steel, which I think was probably the original ice. Now look what I mean, Lady Forlorn. And which Since, is still missing. No, they know where. Well, we know where it is. The Corp rays and the Vale have it. How do we know? That's way off. It's in the Dance of Dragons. But the sword's name is Lady Forlorn, and Forlorn is a synonym of, synonym of Stark. So the sword's name is technically Lady Stark. Which is more than what we can say for Captain. Right. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Which leads me to believe that Lady Forlorn is indeed the original ice. Mm-hmm. Maybe. Lost many, many thousands of years ago to the Starks. What were the words for the rings? Okay. I'm just curious. I don't think it matters, uh, but curious. I don't know if anyone maybe knows. But I have a feeling that the, the like Danes... Stop giving it head. That the Danes' house <laughs> words are probably something like the sword in the darkness. Oh, yeah, that could be. Since their their sword is Dawn, and their most important family member is known as the uh, Sword of the Morning. Yeah. I have a feeling that like their 
house words or something that are are like a, one of the lines from the Night's Watch vows. Yeah. So we'll see about that, but I think that's why we don't know them yet because they come back to like way too clear. Oh yeah, from it'd too be, early yeah. on. Yep. It'd be kind of like a dead giveaway. Yeah. Like you yeah, have to be stupid then to not be no see it. There'd be no need to have seven books out. Right. Yeah. Exactly. There'd be yeah. two, like, all, like a whole bunch of secrets, like because a whole lot of things will tie together as soon as we, if the house Dane's words are something to do with the night's watch. Yeah. Because then we'd also know that all of the major houses like that would have to have someone there too. We wouldn't have to worry. We didn't have to wonder about that. Right. So yeah. we would know that, like you know, the stars, well, the know races. If a Dane at the wall. We don't hear about any. No, we, yeah, don't, we don't know hear about, about any. any. But, I mean, aren't they aren't they mostly all dead? Most of them. Yeah, no, I don't, know. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm only on chapter what ten. Sir Arthur Dean eleven. Is supposedly dead. Supposedly. Okay. Ashara Dean is supposedly dead. Supposedly. Supposedly. Or you have a lot of supposedly thrown around well, over there. Supposedly. supposedly. We don't. Ha- we don't have the whole book series. This isn't yet. actually a podcast, you guys. This is supposedly a podcast. This is supposedly hey, a debate. Ashara yeah. Dean. Ashara Dean supposedly threw herself off a tower. But then George said, strangely enough, her body was never found. Maybe she threw herself off a tower into some water at the bottom and it got taken up to sea. You're a fucking, yeah. That's then, a fucking stretch. And then George still said that... He didn't say what tower, did he? And then, no, he said the Pale Sword Tower. In North. He said what tower? Oh, okay. All right. I wasn't sure. And she, dumped, she supposedly jumped into the water, yes. Oh, see, but, so she jumped into the water. Strange, but that strangely enough, her body's never been found. That's so, not super... Un- there, that's there, like, ain't, there ain't no body. There ain't no body dead. Even in our world... Well, I mean, I, I, I actually completely agree with that, and especially this world. But in our <laughs> world, you can still have someone who Oh, she very well could have jumped and gone missing, no doubt yeah, about it. However, yeah. it'd be, it's interesting that she's dead and nobody was found. Yeah. Well, I mean, I've, I've said Easy since, I think, season two of watching Game of Thrones, the first time that I started watching it, is that if there's no body, there's no dead. Because it's just how it is. So we get John's kind of disheartenment at realizing that the Night's Watch is going to be a lot shittier and he hoped. than he had hoped it was going to be. Quite literally. Yeah. yeah. Rapists and thieves and murderers. And cleaning and chamber pots. Cleaning chamber pots and cooking meals and schlepping crap all over the place and firewood and... Not doing anything yeah. that's actually nightly in most ways. Yeah, so... I mean, He's doing squire work. That's essentially what this chapter was. It was a short little chapter to kind of give us a way to let John know how shitty his life is about to become. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah Pretty so much. What a shitstorm. I think that's really all we need to cover. I mean, I can't think of anything else. I can't either. There's yeah. not a whole lot of depth into this chapter. It's just kind of a little piece yeah. of filler. Yeah. If, if you guys have any... Filler. Yeah, so if you guys have any other thoughts on things that we might have missed in that, go right ahead and message us. Yeah, on one of our media platform, but uh, our next chapter back again. Jesus Christ, fucking Catelyn Tully. Catelyn Tully, Catelyn three, or Catelyn whatever. Yeah, I'm just three. gonna have to start bringing a bottle of wine every time we go over Catelyn. <laughs> then you're gonna turn to Cersei. I'm I not think, gonna. But I'm pretty sure this is Catelyn CSI. Oh, this I think this is Catelyn. This might be the I I read part of it. I think this might be the Catelyn CSI episode. I think this is Catelyn CSI. Uh, she what? turns in. She turns into Caruso. She's gonna like, have some cool one-liners, like pull her glasses off, and some guys gonna go. Ah! Like the evidence that happened to Bran. Oh, so she's yeah. gonna think. It's gonna go uh, to the yeah. No, so I think we're gonna get some Catelyn CSI. Yeah. In this, in this upcoming. You don't time. remember Caruso from the CSI? I know Miami? Caruso yeah. from. Okay. He's a redhead. With yeah, the that's some really shitty one-liners. one-liners. Uh, I think they. Were. I he thought the guy, they were funny. I liked watching. I mean, they're, I'm not saying they're not funny. I'm just saying they're just like, dude, really. Like NCIS. No, just watch a the watch YouTube the video opening. Yeah, no, just watch a YouTube video of of CSI Miami openings, and you'll just know the entire show already. You'll have seen every episode in like four openings. Sounds about right. Of his of his one line. I like that show though. I heard it was good. I mean, it had a lot of viewers, so but mm-hmm. I just never saw it. The CSI ones, I was I was always more Law and Order. That was always my side of the crime stuff. That uh, I, I love yeah. CSI. That's yeah, my that's just my side of stuff I like. Too, too nope. Bones, CSI. <laughs> See, I'm Excuse more like, I'm more, me. I'm more like the bones, like the post mortem stuff, Dr. G, that kind of shit. Yes. You know. I thought about going to school for mortuary science. Yeah. I did stick my head inside a dead body. Listen, listen. Her sister was going to be a midwife. She's going to be the mortician. 
Then their other little sister, Ma, or was supposed to be the general practitioner, and then I was going to be the veterinarian, so we were going to have a practice of all four of us together that says cradle to the grave and beyond, because we do your pets too. <laughs> <laughs> we had this, like, all planned out for a long time. Out. Yeah, forever. And the show has reached a new <laughs> Don't we do that every week? <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna leave this here. Cradle uh, to the grave and beyond. We'll catch you guys after the when is this coming out? This is actually gonna be the um week after New Year's. This is gonna be the second episode of the New Year's week. Yeah, since, we, oh, that's right. since we have just gone to two episodes a week, so this is dropping on Thursday. Oh yeah. So check out another new episode coming up on Sunday. Well then oh, yeah. we need to Make a oh, something for the previous episode. Yes. No, yep. Absolutely. All right. All right. We can do so, that. So uh, thank you guys for tuning in again this week, and we will catch you guys next time. Bye, oh, guys. Yeah. Bye, guys. Bye.